you have automation set up in your coaching business? Look, none of us got into coaching or consultant uh, to do marketing or sales, unless of course you're me and you're a marketing consultant. However, the time it takes to do everything outside of the actual coaching itself can eat up your time. It's why automation for coaches is just so important. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And as I said, today, we're talking about automation for coaches. Now, building systems in a coaching business isn't something that you want to do when you're finally done a successful launch either. You need to start setting them up from the very beginning. Now, marketing automation is going to help with a few areas, but particularly, it's going to help you increase your efficiency and it will help you boost conversions. Now, there are endless automations that you can be setting up in your business, and I have lots of them set up in my business. But I want to share with you four very critical ones that can really help um, in the short term with your business. The number one is a lead magnet to grow an aligned audience. We can't get clients if we don't have people to invite to work with us. So we need to be attracting the right people and knowing how to nurture them. So that automation is really important. The second one is discovery call system for potential clients. Some people call it um, a free strategy call, but this stops the constant back and forth trying to find the right date um, for the two of you to get together and then people not showing up because there was no reminder calls. It just saves a lot of wasted time. The third one is client onboarding. Now, when you finally sign someone up to become a client, the automation doesn't need to stop there. A new client welcome sequence can really assist with taking out a lot of the work in bringing in new clients. But of course, they still um, get to feel special and taken care of. And it means that we don't drop the ball on things as well. So we give them a great experience from the start. And number four is gathering testimonials and referrals. So too many people miss doing this step, because, um, but obviously social proof in your business is really what generates and help or helps generate new clients and we need to be making sure that we're capturing those testimonials. So those are the four areas you can focus on. You can read the blog post if you'd like to go deeper into how to actually set up those four campaigns, which is really the life cycle um, of your business. Um, and it's something that's really important for you to be setting up. But hopefully this helped define um, some strategies that you can be implementing in your business. In the blog post, I share some of the tech and also some of the how of putting this together. But I hope that uh, this was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.